Hi, my name is Corey Holden, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. And this video is about the differences in drawings between a multi-body part and an assembly. So first off, what I want to dive into is exploded view. In order for the bill of materials to be clear to my assembly team, I'll need a proper exploded view to display in my drawings. So what you're going to notice here is on the left I have an assembly, composed of three separate parts. And on the right, I have a multi-body part, composed of three separate solid bodies. So in order to create an exploded view for my assembly, I can simply click on the exploded view command. I can grab a single part or multiple parts. They're going to be dragged out in a similar direction and click on my reference triad here to drag them out to the spacing that I see fit. I'll click on the green check mark when my spacing is acceptable and now I have the exploded view for my assembly. Now for the multi-body part, I can do the exact same thing. All I have to do is enter into the exploded view command works exactly the same as before in the assembly. I click on the separate solid bodies that I want to explode out in the same direction and again just drag on the triad to move them out to the proper spacing and click the green check mark when that's acceptable. So I have an assembly with an exploded view and a multi-body with an exploded view both very similar and what I want to do now is I want to continue on to make a drawing of this and show the differences in the bill of materials. So the easiest way to get into my drawing is just going to file and make drawing from the assembly. So when I open up my drawing I can quickly and easily grab this isometric exploded view from my view palette and just change this to shaded and drop it on my drawing paper here. So now I need to bring in the bill of materials. So in order to bring in my bill of materials I can click on tables, bill of materials, I'm going to insert parts only, meaning it's going to go ahead and it's going to grab every single part which creates this assembly and list it at the top level on this bill of materials. I'll click OK. And now it's inserted my bill of materials for this assembly. And what you can see on my bill of materials upon further investigation is every single part here has its own item number. It's listed all the parts, it's listed all the materials. So let's do the same thing with that multi-body part and see the differences. So I'm going to take my multi-body part, same thing, I'm going to go file, make drawing from part this time. And I'm going to drag this in from my view palette. Again, I have the isometric exploded view all ready to go and easy to drag onto my drawing sheet. I'll change the display shading and I'll even change the scale. I'll make it a little larger like the other one and I'll make it a 4 to 1 size. So when I'm all ready with that, the next thing I need to do is I need to insert my bill of materials. So I'll go annotations, tables, bill of materials. Same thing, I want parts only selected. Notice it's my only option here because this is a single part file that I'm making the bill of materials out of. I'll click the green check mark. And upon placing my bill of materials, you can see that all it has come up with is it's come up with my piston rod, which is that primary solid body. The reason it came up with that is because that is the name of the file and the primary material that I have applied to this. In this video we covered a few of the differences between multibodies and assemblies. Thanks for watching and look for more videos from Hawkridge Systems.